Hey, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can get these nice animations into your apps to make it feel more alive. I'll link the package below so you can take a deeper look at it, but I can show you the basics real quick because it's super easy to use. Now just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which navigates us to the home page, which is a stateful widget, and inside I just have a blank scaffold. Now before we do anything, let's go to our pubspec.yaml file to import the package. The package is called Lottie, L-O-T-T-I-E, and for the version number, I'm just going to use the latest version as of today. So save that, and now let's close that file. And now we want to go to your browser and head over to the Lottie Files website. And you're going to need to sign in real quick. And once you've signed in, if you check out this Discover tab, you can click on this free animations to have a quick browse of the different types of animations that people have created. So I think they created this using Adobe After Effects. So you can pick one of these ones and you can also search for an animation. So let's say delivery. And let's say I like this one. So if I click on it, now there's a couple of ways you could do this. So you can download the asset and just import it manually. Or you can also just get this animation URL and copy this in into our code. So just have that copied. Now coming back to our code, inside the scaffold, in the body, let's just create a center widget and start typing Lottie. And you're gonna to need to import this library. So that's the one we imported in the pubspec YAML file. And as you can see, if you downloaded the animation, you can import it using this asset option. But for us, since we have the URL, you can use this network and just paste the URL there. And if you just save this and run it, you should be able to see the animation there. So that's super easy. Okay, now in my experience of using these animations, there's essentially two categories or two types of animations that come into play. So the first one being the one we see now, which is like a continuous animation where it doesn't actually stop. And another type of animation is where you want the animation to start and stop at a particular point. So for example, what I mean is if I search for bookmark and let's just pick one of these ones. I like this purple one and copy the URL. And you can imagine with something like a bookmark, you don't really want this to continually go bookmark on and then bookmark off, right? So we don't want this to repeat. Rather, we want this animation to take place when the user has tapped the icon, for example. Like I'm going to bookmark this. So for situations like this, we're going to need to create a controller. And in the initial state, let's initialize it to the animation controller. And if we're going to do any animations like this, then we're going to have to come up here to the state and add this bit of code with single ticker provider state mixin. And also just dispose of the controller to clean everything up. Okay, and underneath this, I'm also gonna create a Boolean called bookmarked and we'll set it to be false initially. And inside the Lottie code here, you can specify the controller to be the controller that we just created. And so if you save this, the animation is going to not start right now. So you can see it's just staying still. And let's wrap this widget in a gesture detector. And in the on tap function, let's check something. So if the bookmark is false, then the controller, we're going to move it forward. So we're going to make the animation take place. Else, controller.reverse. And also if the user taps it, we should actually change this bookmarked value to be true. And in the other situation, we should change the bookmarked value to be false. And actually one last thing to do is if you come back to our controller, we should specify this duration. And I'm just going to say two seconds. And now if you save this, if you click on the icon, then the bookmark animation takes place. And then if you decide that I don't want to bookmark it and you tap it again, then it reverses the animation. So for a situation like this, you don't want the animation to continuously repeat. You only want the animation to happen when we tap on the button, right? So hopefully that was useful. Play around with it. There's so many different animations on that website. So 
have a good browse of the ones that you might want to use and if you have any questions just let me know but other than that thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one latest